This is the jewelry here and this is my invisible thread. I'm going to be using the invisible thread to tack the chain to my dress. So I got the um, accessory from an online store. You can as well get it from the market and it is really affordable. So the strip of fabric that I'm cutting is going to be 16 inches long and 2.5 inches wide. So now that I've cut it, I'm just going to go ahead to fold this and turn it inside out so that it's neat. I have gone ahead to um, turn this inside out and I've ironed it the same how it looks. Then now I am just going to go ahead to measure round this um, area where the neck piece is going to sit, where this chain is going to sit. So this is my allowance for my zip I have not fixed my, my zip because I need to put this in before attaching my zip. The inside is really neat and pretty because I turned everything inside. I'm just going to measure from the zipper part and I'm taking the measurement up to this point. So this is 19.5 meaning that the other side too is going to be 19.5 so i'm taking the measurement of this other part and as you can see this is 19.5 as well to make sure that this chain is going to be 19.5 so i'll just go ahead to detach like remove this from the back this is the earring and this this is the bangle this is the next piece so let's see if it's up to 19.5 it is not up to we have to add this other ones to it so it's not up to 19.5 so all i'm just going to do right now is to detach this and add this to it i don't have a plier so i'm just going to make use of my scissors and i'm just opening this up it's not a major stuff so i'm going to try to open this up and This scissors doesn't seem to be working. Try and make it with this bigger scissors. So, use it to widen this up. And you just have to take your time. So, I'll join both together and afterwards take the measurement to make sure that I have 19.5. So that's what I have then I would remove the excess. I'll do same for the second part. They are of the same length. So what I'm going to do now is to pass this through. First, I'm going to cut this into two. Let me just fold it into three, four halves and cut it. I'm folding it into two equal halves. And yeah. I've cut it so this is for this and this is for the other one. Just pass it through this hole. And next, I pass the other ones. So you do it inside out like this so as you can see it's it's looking pretty already so i'm just going to continue passing this through i'm straightening it it has to be straight
So this is my zipper allowance. I'm going to fix this in and put my zip on top of it so that it's not going to be stained. I had to tap this place and this place. Afterwards, I'll fix my zipper. Then I'll come back so that we can round off with the color. I have um, joined it, so I will just take my time to arrange this. Just take my time to arrange this, pin them down. Then I would use my invisible thread to stack it down so that's the reason why we're making it of the invisible thread so that it doesn't show i'll straighten all this out like this and i will tack it down the neck we're working with is 16 inches so i'm just going to fold my fabric into two this way and into two this other way as though we are cutting a circle skirt So this is the folded part, you can see this, so on this side, this is where I'm going to be cutting. So um, the neck is 16, so 16 divided by 4 because it's on fold, it's going to be 4 inches. So from this folded edge, I'm just going to mark 4 inches. You can see the right, so I'm... Just creating a curve this way. So this is how it's looking. Next, I'm going to come down by 1.5. That's the width of the collar stand. So now that I've gotten this, this is my collar. This is for my collar. I'm going to add half an inch for seam allowance, half an inch down and half an inch up, then I will cut. I'll cut this other side. So now this is how it looks. I'm just going to iron my interfacing and fold this down round. Afterwards, I'll afterwards I will attach it to the neck because you know the dress is backless so this is going to wrap around the neck this way as you can see so now i will just go ahead to i'll keep this aside and go ahead to pack this down so i'm making it of my invisible thread and this needle you know we need to just like double this thread so that it's thick we need the uh, dress to be really firm we don't want the chains falling off so Hold. make sure that we are doubling this thread so that it can give us a firm effect so as you can see i've folded it into four and i'm going to pass it through the eye of the needle it's big enough so it can pass so we have like eight strands here that's what we're going to be working with so that it's it's really firm Put this down. I'm going to place my knot and yeah. I'm just trying to secure these edges so that it can lay flat. Not to let the um, invisible thread show at show at the back. So front is neat. The back is neat as well, so you can see I'm just going to sew this all out. The same process. So guys, I'm done with the front and as you can see it's all laying flat. And this is how the back looks. You're seeing that you, you can't find any 
stitch at the back is all looking neat. So I'm going to do the same thing for the front. This is how the front is. Like it's really scattered. I'm just going to arrange it and stitch it down how I did this one. So guys, I am done. I am done attaching this. I'm done attaching it. This is how it's looking. And this is the back. So right now, I will just go ahead to um, I'm just going to go ahead to cut out my collar and I'll place it afterwards I'm going to show you the finished look this was how it looked on my client when she came for fitting although she didn't take pictures when she went for the event that was the sad part however she left a feedback so guys if you learned a thing or two please do well to like share and subscribe to my channel yeah. i want to take a moment to appreciate my um, new subscribers thank you thank you so much for the encouragement it means a lot to me so guys i will see you in my next one